today we're going to start a little new mini series um because at the heart of this channel even though i'm the one that's waffling to you all the time at the heart of this channel is you guys so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little mini series which is all about you what's going on guys welcome back to electric awesome today one of my subscribers dave thanks very much dave for sending this in is he's, he's recently bought a 345s and was wondering about some of the issues that he's having with it and if mine experienced the same so he sent me a video and i've been in contact with dave and he's very happy to be on the channel and his voice heard so what we're going to do we're going to give this a watch and then after that the issues he has with his bike i'm going to try, try and test them on mine and see if mine's the same and whether i've got problems with my bike that i haven't even noticed so thanks very much dave for putting this in so let's take a look hey jay how are you doing Ooh, buddy hope you're feeling a, better he's um, got us he's got a chrome I one just get my bike on a stand i it's with great difficulty because i couldn't find a stand that could i could <laughs> hold it looks difficult it's the best i could do it's actually resting on a chair at the moment it's really, <laughs> really heavy as you'd know um it is heavy that's the chain slap i was talking about you can see when it's really going you see that already concerns me i can't tell how hard dave's been pressing that but it didn't look too hard i don't think mine's that slack i don't now if i was to just back pedal you can see how it hits the the bar there and it's actually started to mark the bar the stick yeah. is not not arrived yet what i've got but effectively as you can imagine it sticks there and it's slightly raised rubber so i'm going to try that out see if it yeah get like stops a, it from get like a chain guard yeah when you're riding because in terms of chain guards if this is an issue on mine and it's something that is unavoidable i know shimano do pretty cheap ones i think they're only like eight pounds something like, that, like eight quid um and they just stick over that bit of metal um but yeah you say you wear airpods i had to I I do have, wear don't, haven't listened to music riding it yet but all listen to heavy metal all the time when you're not pedaling slapping the uh the frame which isn't which doesn't doesn't seem good but um nonetheless um i've actually contacted new gen who Ooh. said there should be 140 links in the chain you said you may have that's one a lot. Or two that's a lot of links. Two. i actually have 42. so whether that two will make the difference right so so dave it's new gen bike he got his bike directly from new gen so i got mine obviously from ecomove so it'd be interesting what they do so Let's go and find out how many links mine has in this chain. Um, oh, here's a debut of my new uh, pedals that I put on. Dapper, dapper. These are exactly the same color as the new ch the new channel colors. They don't look like it on camera, but they are. Right, so we got to count these links. Great, okay, so one, <laughs> two, one eternity later. One. Forty-two. Forty-two. So 142. So Dave, I have the exactly the same amount of links as you do. 142. And new gen is saying that we only need, what was it, 140. So mine has more. And let's have a look at this chain slot. Let's have a look at my bar. I can't see any damage marks that's just mud this is a scratch from where i fell off but i don't have any do i have any slight digs i guess i have a couple of little things on it um but yeah odd well actually uh and bring it in um that might be one thing that i can have a look at but so this should be a total of 140 links um reason I've got it on a stand as well for obvious reasons actually uh, being able to lift it up um, but I actually wanted to check the um, gear alignment 
because uh, obviously it came in a box and I, it wasn't well from my perspective tuned by anyone that I yeah physically so do yeah it. i guess you put it it seems date. okay but i think the problem i'm not that i'm an expert but i think and i think it is just due to fat tire bikes when it is on the highest gear this kind of kicks out slightly when on all the videos i've looked online kind of say everything should be in line but if that was the case because it's fat tire bike because it's a fat tire it would actually hit the tire and so would the chain so i think it's intentionally made to kick out which in if i was speaking to an expert mountain biker but that would probably would probably disagree that 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 should do that <laughs> i'd imagine they probably would um yeah so when i'm out on the bike let's check so highest gear because i usually ride almost exclusively in the highest gear um it's just so my legs get a little bit of exercise so Let's check that as well. And it also, now we can also check as well, that my gear has come. Well, they they don't actually. Um, this is in gear eight. So this is, this is the highest gear it can go into. Um, I thought that would be up there though. Am I thinking about it in the wrong way? I thought gear eight would be the biggest one and then gear one would be the smallest one. Now I'm really confused. Uh, I'm not, so. Um, I don't think it's an issue, totally. Um, I've done a few slight tweaks to it to uh, make it proper aligned. I'm just working on how to, without taking the entire wheel off, don't want to do that. adjust the there's Take a bit of scrape on the, on the uh, brake calipers there, but I don't I, I ideally don't want to undo the wheel because then that just seems to like nightmare, mate. Nightmare. probably cause me no end of problems. Uh, but I could flip the bike upside down at that point, I suppose. Um, yeah, but other than that, oh, I, like I, mean, the light. I really love the thing. It's like super the light. fast. Is that an indicator? Um, put some put some indicator lights on there. Yeah. Got those from Wilco's actually. <laughs> yeah, they weren't too expensive. My friend works in well, case I can get a discount. Like how in that way, there. But it saves me sticking my arms out when I'm travelling quite fast on this thing. That's interesting because I'm always doing um, that. I'm always doing really that as well. Dave. Mods to that. That's the little controller for the uh, indicators Tidy. there. Tidy. I'll show you how that works. You can just press the button. Nifty. Right Nifty. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I took your. Your, I saw what you got online. Actually got <laughs> Looks mirror. almost identical. Did you buy the ones like yourself, I think in my link or did you go for a different ones? Um, Hang I haven't on. really made much go of the mods to the bike. I want to go back so and say your, your, I saw what you got online. I actually got a mirror just like yourself because I think he probably does. What is this, Dave? What's this thing? Is that like a fitness tracker or something? I want to know. I want to know what this is. Help. Uh, not really made much other mods to the bike so far. I don't think I will. It's interesting, right? You can probably oh my cameras, my bloody cameras in the way. Let me let me move that a second. Just move me over here. You might not see it because it might be a little bit blurry for you guys, but you can see little indents where is um this is on a new gen bike where they print the the serial number. This is where they print the serial number. It's where they print the serial number on there. So that means if you ever need help with it, you've got to give them the serial number as that. And now I'm looking at this, it looks like this color is their base color, right? And then they put the black map, which I've got over it, because my serial number is almost impossible to read. Literally, I have to get my girlfriend to look at it at the same time. It's almost impossible to read. So it looks like if you buy the silver chrome or whatever they call it version that Dave's got here, it's a lot easier to see because I can see it on the camera. If I take a picture of mine, you would not be able to see that. Right, let's move me back over here, shall I? Right. Well, but I am interested in that box you've got on the top. To see. That box is one I found from Rock Bros. Um, it's got nice big vel 
Velcro tie. So I managed to get it um, tied around this little bar, tied around that bar, and then through and around here, around the main stem. So it stays proper and it is um, waterproof as well because it's, it's a little bit hard cover. It's not super soft, it's a little bit hard cover, but it's waterproof as well when it's zipped up. So I keep my AirPods and stuff in there um, when I'm riding in the rain. So yeah, that's that's in there. So yeah, that is what I use. I will link that in the description. Everything I've ever bought for the bike or myself in terms of cycling, guys, any any of my gear is always in the description. Um, says It says, um, like my gear, that, all that kind of stuff. And then there's links. And those links are affiliate links for me. It's from Amazon. So if you click that link and buy it, I get like, one percent i think or something um so yeah if you wanted to do that and help me out you can feel free or you can just buy them somewhere else up to you but they'll all be in the description anyway let's carry on see what that's like in one of your videos that'd be cool um but other than that that's it i suppose well for now anyway well, take care buddy i'll see you soon well thanks for the video dave let's go out and now just go for a ride and test some of the things that dave had trouble with shall we anyway see you on the ride we are back oh it feels good to be back first ride first ride bloody gorgeous and it's nice and sunny as well so that's a good start but yeah for i come out for a ride test some stuff the only issue is i'm not sure how i'm going to test some of it or show the results of the test anyway because one of them is obviously that chain slack. I'm not sure my GoPro and especially my face cam are going to even do anything with it. If that makes sense. Sorry guys, I had to stop the video there because uh, I got a phone call from my doctor. <laughs> not that you need to know that. So we're back out on the road. Oh, it feels good. It feels very, very good to just be back out doing things I love. Like riding my bike. Feels great. You can come away I've never rid before. I drove this way a million times, but I've never actually rid this way. Now, funnily enough, when I got on the bike, I saw something, and I'm not sure if I saw it right, but... I think there's some damage on this bike that I didn't see in the video when I washed it and all that kind of stuff. Um, so when I get to a stopping point, we'll take a look. Tossers. Oh, look at that Mustang. Look at that. Woo! Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Push myself off a little bit too hard then. And I said push myself off, not someone else. You filthies. Look at this. So, one thing I noticed about this bike, as I was just about to sit on it, I was like, why does that look lopsided? And I wonder if you can tell on the camera, but there's two things. I think these handlebars might be slightly bent that way. Because even though it's slightly, it's slightly curved this way, like because it's on the stand, it's tilting that way. But to me, the handlebars look straight, which doesn't make sense unless they're bent. And that's just fabulous. Second thing is, if you come to this side of the seat, you can't see this metal bar as soon as it goes under the seat. But if you go on this side, metal bar, which means this seat, when I fell, 
has come out of joint. Some oh, there we go. I pushed it back in. <laughs> I pushed it, which means there's a bolt loose under here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I was riding there, and I, I hopefully. I think the mics aren't as, this mic isn't strong enough probably to pick up the sound of the chain or anything like that, which is unfortunate. Um, but hopefully what I'm going to try and do is if I come on here and I take you out of the holder and I pull you out, if I hold my phone like that, Maybe you'll be able to hear and see the chain. I'm trying to figure out what's the best. So about here. Um, let's go. So he said forward pedal, then back. Forward pedal, then back. But I think it's actually okay. Let's try and do that again, just all the way up here. Try and get to some decent speed. Doesn't seem to be doing it. Does it? I can't feel it if it is. So yeah, hopefully... That little experiment <laughs> worked in some way, <laughs> had some kind of purpose um, to see that. Mate, that guy was going so fast. It's like a race with a race with a bloody disability wheelchair another thing just as i was in the in the process of making this video dave good old dave sent me another email with regards to his chain um because as you know he said he got in contact with um got in contact with them at new gen and they were like yeah we'll send you a new 140 link chain and he's i don't think he's had a chance to put that on yet or if it's arrived um but he went out for a ride today and his chain just straight up fell off. Um, I've got to be honest, mine's never done that. Um, so, yeah, and all I can say is mine's never done that. I did email back and say, to me, it sounds like a full-on kind of manufacturer fault to me. Um, and if it is, that absolutely sucks, mate. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, sounds proper like a manufacturer's fault to me. Um, but yeah, that's all for today, folks. Um, I'm, glad you I'm glad you came, glad you watched. Um, and yeah, this series is all about you. So once you've watched this, if you've got any questions regarding your electric bike or a electric bike or my electric bike or any, any of those things, anything at all, leave a comment below or join the Discord, which is in the description and the yeah i'll make videos on them and try and answer your questions so yeah thanks very much guys i will see you next time and remember stay awesome